Next, you will want to mark out all frame and bolt locations on the slab. First, you will mark lines on the sidewall and the end wall that will be on the outside edge of the columns. Note that this chalk line will be set in from the edge of the slab, the size of the wall girts. And keep in mind that the side and end walls may have different sized girts. Next, we will mark the location of the portal frames. Referring to your engineering plans, find the distance between each portal and mark the location along each sidewall. You can then use a straight edge to extend this out to have a more accurate picture of the frame locations. Then, mark the center line of the portal using a chalk line. We will also need to mark the location of the anchor bolts. Using column anchor brackets bolted together with three washers in between to simulate the thickness of your frames, you can mark the location of your anchor bolts. However, these locations must be marked precisely. In this example, the anchor bracket aligned with our chalk line but this will change based on your specific building dimensions. When installing single corner columns, please make sure that marks are made with the column anchor bracket attached on the interior side of the corner column. Anchor brackets may be installed on either side of single sidewall or end wall columns. Now we are ready to drill the holes for the anchor bolts. Ensure that you use the correct drill size. When drilling holes, make sure to keep the holes plumb. Once a hole is drilled, clean out the hole of all concrete dust and or water with compressed air. The air puffer shown may be used only if the hole is dry and brushed out. Please note that some projects will require that special inspection be performed by a qualified special inspector during the installation of the anchor bolts to ensure that the anchors are installed in accordance with approval reports. Your engineering drawings will specify whether your particular job will require this inspection or not. If your plans call for the special inspection, do not drill your bolt holes without the supervision of the inspector.